Hey, everybody. Uh, Adam Savage here in my cave with some infrastructure building. That is my new 3D printer. It's a uh, Bamboo Carbon X1. I also got a new Anycubic Cobra Max in the other room because I'm getting interested in specific ways in which 3D printing can augment and help my process. But I need a locality where 3D printing occurs. And the workbench here is just not great. I tend to feel weird when I'm hammering something on this vise here and this thing is printing. I'm sure it's not great for it. So I want to build a table, a solid table for my 3D printer. But more than that, there's also the issue of the fact that um, the soul, the beating lifeblood of a 3D printer is the uh, filament. The filaments are <clears throat> hygroscopic. They, they suck in water. That water that they, that they absorb naturally, chemically, is not great for prints. So you want to store them dry. You want to put desiccant in the boxes they're in. They often come vacuum packed, which is ideal. You leave them vacuum packed until you're ready to print with them. Uh, and Carbon's AMS system, <clears throat> the thing on top here with four kilograms of, of filament on it, um, does a great job at keeping it dry. I've got a little um, hygrometer. I bought the same one everyone in 3D printing uses, this little guy here. Right now, this says it's at 57% humidity here in San Francisco, which is pretty average. Um, but inside the case here, it's only 10. That's ideal. A second Carbon X1 is arriving tomorrow. Because I'm so impatient, I want two going at the same time. So I want to build a table that holds two carbons next to each other. And underneath has some storage, what, for filament dry storage. So today in the mail, I should have received, it should be here in a couple of hours, a, um, a little dehumidifier. We're gonna hook up the height. So we're gonna build a table. We're gonna have a cabinet underneath that holds filament on two rods and we're gonna put a dehumidifier in there and put a hygrometer and see how dry we can get it. And that would be awesome. So I have some, uh, for solidity, I have one of my favorite furniture materials, one inch hardware store plywood. Let's start making some measurements. So if I want two of these next to each other, I kind of got 18 inches each. So 36 inches across. Great. By 36 by 18. Ah, two squares. 36 by 18, and how high off the ground? Actually, it's not gonna be this, 30, 42. I think I'm gonna go with 32 inches off the ground. That'll give me a shelf for stuff, or even a drawer. What? And then a cabinet. Yeah! Uh, okay, so. fit two two rows deep that's great uh and then i want this so let's say we put this uh this is 30. great we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with the drawer that's four inches deep that's plenty for pretty much freaking everything uh and then below that will be a cabinet and or actually the cabinet will be on top and the drawer will be at the bottom I think that'll be easier. Okay, it's uh, time to cut out some pieces of wood. We've got to live stream it a little bit. I'm hoping to get the bulk of this wrapped before that begins, but we'll see. Okay.
Great. Yeah. Good. All right, so this is the uh, the dehumidifier that I bought, and it's just going to live back in here. So I guess we'll do that here. Yeah. All right, it's time to put in the stands for the... Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. One thing first. I'll secure this back. Uh, so, 22 and 17. Wait, the center is 22... See the uh, filament storage? Mm-hmm. I like it. Oh wow, that's a big uh, humidifier. Well, yeah, this this that's, this will do a small like shit. room. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. see. If it, uh, wow. Uh, is there gonna be a second? No second rack, right? Just one rack. Well, there's 
one back and one front. Ah, got it, got it. Not, right. not one so elevated. So I can go one front and one back. Got it, got it, got it. Um, not an elevated rack. What's that? You, you no, a second rung. If I you... don't think I can fit a second high. Mm. I could mm. maybe, but it. maybe, um, maybe the thing to do is a, a shelf where you do sideways, where it's not rolling, but sideways. Oh, or like, maybe like, something way back here. For... Way back here, or just something to stack them sideways. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 totally. Uh, so because you're gonna have those boxes, those boxes, right? If you're keeping the cardboard boxes, they can just fucking like yeah. stack them in the you know, the small shelf. Indeed. Isn't that nice? And this will hold two of them. 53. It's almost down to full 10%. Wow. And the other hygrometer is agreeing with it. Wow. Well, I think this is um, totally successful. Uh, it's been about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. We've gone from 60% relative humidity to 47%. And um, from what I'm looking up, anything below 45 is like optimal levels of humidity to store filament at. So I'm super psyched. I think this is working great. I am now going to add in the drawer and build the drawer and then I'll put it in place. Really not stick there. Probably should have done this beforehand, but that's fine. Oh, 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 oh.
That's 36 and 8 on the nose. That's great. Oh, so now it's 4 and 3 eighths. Sixteen and three eighths. Bye.
got something off by a fair bit. That is fine. That's fine. I, I see what I did there. Okay, so I'm just going to put these two pieces. All right, this is the last piece. This is the drawer front. And then um, this cheapy handle will go right in the middle of that drawer front. So we're gonna get this on there. I'm 
Kimberly. Oh, oh. <laughs> getting low. It's harder every day. Uh, I'm really, really happy with this. This is my new cart for a pair of Carbon X1 bamboo printers, uh, along with uh, an integral dry box, dehumidified dry box that will keep the, the filament at the right uh, temperature and level of moisture. And then also with a drawer down here for all the stuff, for all the stuff. Yeah, really, really excited about this part. Um, there we go. And that closes up really nicely and looks like a nice little uh, bit of furniture. Yeah. Um, do you want to make one of these for yourself? Everything's in this video. I mean, I, I you could draw up plans, but it doesn't really matter. The actual dimensions don't really matter. You can kind of parse it here. It's about three feet long, about 18 inches deep, two squares. Uh, and I may end up adding a second shelf in the back of this cabinet for the stacked, un for the filament I have yet to unwrap. Um, there's no reason to take filament out of its vacuum packing, even to store it in here, as much as I want to take it all out of its vacuum packing. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, should I? I shouldn't. Anyway, um, I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm gonna put it in place. All right, I've sent a print to my printer. There's gonna be some more 3D printing one day builds coming up. I'm gonna build a dry box for the filament for uh, for the uh, Cobra. That's the next one. I'm gonna do that now, but this will be a separate video. See you later. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.